Hey there everyone, my name is Luke and welcome to my channel. I do hope that you're all keeping well. I'm about to kick off my last session, I imagine, this side of Christmas and I'm going to be shooting a seasonally appropriate target. That's going to be the Cone Nebula and the Fox Fur. I'm going to do that with my usual rig just up here, the trusty Rasa 8 and the Player 1 Poseidon C Pro. I will be using my dual narrowband filter as per usual for this kind of uh, target it makes things really pop and stand out and i do in the future thanks to my very good friend bill blanchon have another filter coming on the way for me to test and show to you all more on that in a future video i think anyway i'm going to get this roof rolled off and make a start on this last session as it is pretty literally freezing in here i'm indoors with the roof over and it's minus 1.2 right now so uh, not desperately pleasant i'm going to go ahead and get this roof off and let's make a start Well guys, as you can see, I'm in the observatory. I've actually been in here probably a good few hours at this point. Uh, I'm finding myself, especially now this cold weather's hit, spending more and more time in here because uh, it's just a lot cheaper to heat. I don't know if it's the same wherever you're watching from, but energy prices here in the UK are ridiculous at the minute. So uh, I'm trying to save money. We all are, wherever we can. One place I'm not going to be able to save money though, uh, in the course of this past few hours, well I've actually just been gathering some data which we'll talk about in a moment for another project, um, Adam Block released a video talking about Russ Croman's latest tool, um, Blur Exterminator, and mind blown. So <laughs> I may not have enough money to heat the house, but I do have enough money to buy this tool um, and you know, I'd be crazy not to. I have to say I'm going to make a video on this just to get the word out there for more people because I think everybody should be using these kind of tools now. It's making astronomy like high quality results more accessible and that can only ever be a good thing, I think. Um, anything that helps people captivate their, their imagination and, and want to do more to help keep the environment darker and just share the night sky with more and more people is a good thing and this does just that it's not cheap none of it is really uh but when you gauge that against what you actually get back from this hobby i think it all together it's not too bad at all i'm aware i'm rambling anyway so i'm gonna try and cut this uh back into line right now so earlier on in the night before my target rose i was spending some time gathering some data in bin one and bin two on the uh, NGC 7000 and Pelican Nebula region uh, and I'm doing that because I'm going to put together a video at some point uh, testing monochrome bin 1 versus bin 2 and resampling and also one shot colour bin 1 versus bin 2 and resampling as I thought that's something probably that many people would be interested in seeing and not everybody has the time to waste in terms of clear nights to actually put together these experiments themselves so uh, i thought i'd do it and save you some some time and uh, see if i can draw any conclusions from it i haven't done any stacking yet so i don't actually know what's going to happen with that but i'm sure i'll find the time in the next week or so to do all of that however as you can see what's just popped up on my screen in this preview window is the cone and fox fur nebula the christmas tree cluster and wow these are the first couple of exposures that's popped in now as I said, I'm using the Player 1 Poseidon Rasa 8 IDAS NBZ UHS and what a pairing it all is. I mean, these single 5 minute exposures just showing up everything, every feature. Um, you can see clear as day, Cone Nebula right there, all these nice little bits of nebulosity next to it. Going up to the Fox Fur, I'm going to be intrigued to see how that actually looks after stacking a few frames. All these background sweeps of hydrogen, this extra feature up to the right, which due to this large sensor I'm able to frame properly now. And yeah, I have to say I'm excited for this one. Um, it does look set to be clear now, all the way through till dawn, so I'm going to sit this out and just chill out in my observatory and basically yeah, try and stay warm and just enjoy what I'm doing. And this really is probably what the rest of my night is going to look like. So. I do respect your time, even though I 
waffle a lot so I'm not going to keep giving you further updates on this in another vlog style video because uh, I don't know I guess once you've seen one you've seen most of them so I'm probably going to wrap things up here I realise this has been a bit of an odd video but uh, I'm sure you understand so I'll just say simply thank you so much to everybody for watching my videos as I've said before I always say it because I always mean it I appreciate you all genuinely so um, yeah I'll wrap, I'll wrap it up. Hope we get a nice result. I've no idea if it will be or not, but all signs point to yes, it's going to be good. So uh, we'll see. Anyway, look after yourselves. If I don't see you this side of uh, the holiday period, whatever you want to call it, then I hope you have a good one and you spend lots of time with your friends and family. So uh, look after yourselves and close, guys.